ಎಸ್ ವೀಕ್ಷಕರೇ ವಿ ಐ ಪಿ ಲಾಂಚ್ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಎಂದಿನಂತೆ ಇವತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಟುಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಬ್ಬರು ಎಂಟ್ರಪ್ರನ್ಯೂರ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ವಿ ಐ ಪಿ ಲಾಂಚ್ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಇತ್ತೀಚೆಗೆ ನಾವು ಪರ ಊರಿನ ಎಂಟ್ರಪ್ರನ್ಯೂರ್ಸ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಕರೆ ತಂದು ಅವರ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯೆನ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಇವತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮೊಂದಿಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ್ ಪೈಗಳು ಸರ್ ತಮಗೆ ಈ ಸ್ಟುಡಿಯೋಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಅವರು ಮುಂಬೈಯಿಂದ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಮುಂದಿನ ನಮ್ಮ ಏನು ಸಂವಾದ ಇದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪಂದನ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಸ್ಪಂದನ ಇಸ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಪ್ರನ್ಯೂರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ಅ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟಾಟಾ ಮೋಟರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಪ್ರೊಬಬ್ಲಿ ವರ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಟು ಅ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಡಿಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಯು ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ Uh, I was born and brought up in Pune. I did my post-graduation in Delhi. And then as everybody looks out for a good job, uh, I managed to get a break with Tata Motors. Okay. But being from a uh, Pai, you know, mm. finance is always in your blood. Right. So I was always looking at how do I get into the financial services uh, part of it. Mm-hmm. and so after the initial years in tata motors i moved to bank of india bank of india i got a big break that mm-hmm. i could automate the bombay stock exchange okay so i handled uh, automating the trading part of it okay and then did a lot of automation for banking that okay. is like core banking and other things banker adanta yuvaru from banking you have moved on to probably becoming a co-founder of one among the listed mutual funds called Barossa Club. Yeah. So, how did this all start? Okay. So, Barossa Club is basically a registered investment advisory firm. Hmm. And when we were, before we started this company, we were looking around to say, uh, how is this world looking at financial products? Right. And we found that uh the financial products etc are more catered to what we call as the high net worth clients mm-hmm. there are very few people who want to serve people who want to save say 1000 rupees a month That's or right. 5000 rupees a month and naturally the reason for that was because of the cost of serving them okay and that's where we said ki here is a big opportunity we have to reduce the cost of services mm. make these different financial products available for every person okay irrespective of how much he wants to save right and that led to starting of uh, bharosa club mm-hmm. and my co-founder uh, sanjay bhargav okay. uh, he is one of the early uh, employees of paypal right and with about 18 years of experience in city bank he is a expert at cutting transaction cost transaction cost so we both combined and created this uh, so company. how does this platform work now uh, as we rightly know that probably the penetration of mutual funds or uh, in our uh, financial market is hardly 10% or 5% it's around 6 to 7% 6% okay so how how will your product make a difference and how does that penetration increase especially in india when compared to other countries probably the penetration is much higher yeah so if you look at us is something it's around 41% right so you know if you look at it why is the penetration low in india hmm. and i think uh, one of the major reasons is that you know our distribution network etc is more focused towards uh, you know commissions and aum driven mm. rather than expanding the uh, market okay. okay so what really needs to be done is make this product simple okay and made available to masses mm. today if you look at it there are 49 mutual funds or so okay there are something like you know 20 30000 different schemes hmm. how do people understand where to invest etc etc hmm. so you have to simplify this whole thing and ensure that more people understand what the product is product and is. bring it to them in a very simple manner and also cut the cost of making the service available to them so how expensive is this transaction i mean today how can a common man get into your platform and how can they really uh, you know get into this particular transaction okay so you know for any person to start investing mm. uh, he needs to be educated okay so which is fina- uh, financial awareness as right. we call it and then once he is made aware 
mm. he should be able to execute his transaction in a very simple way okay so there are two parts to this so part one is making the financial awareness to him all right so we have lots of programs which are catered to that mm-hmm. and then secondly is that he can become a member not only of our platform any, any other any platform. Of the platform and then start his transaction okay now to do this transaction he has to open an account right and subsequently uh, we uh, give him the guidance hmm. in a very simplified way as to where all he can invest what are the options options that are available to him so you know we have automated this whole task of risk profiling a person okay making his options that are available to him known to him mm-hmm. and removed everything from this clutter of you know as i said 20000 odd funds right to narrowing it to as low as 5 or 6 funds okay in okay. a very transparent manner okay so i think transparency is also very important in this whole how thing. do you risk it i mean how do you hedge the uh, risk in this particular uh, uh, product which you choose correct so when you are looking at any product you know when we are looking at the risk no risk is a factor of uh you know what is the duration that you want to invest right uh, your um, uh, investment in what amounts you want to invest mm. and in what different nature of products that you want to invest for example equities we know are risky right and let's say that you know you need to save this money mm. for uh, your child's education correct now if your child's education is going to be there uh, and you need to pay college fees for example and the fees you have to pay after say 10 years right so you have a long duration mm. you can take the risk and you can invest in equity mutual funds mm. but if you are you know planning to buy a house right which you plan to buy say in the next 2 to 3 years so you have enough time for you have less time <laughs> now less time for for that, that. Okay. so you can't uh, you know take the risk of investing in equity mutual funds okay. because the markets can go up markets can come down right. you, there is a chance that you could lose your money in that short period so okay. in such a case we recommend to them other products which are there in mutual funds which, which have a very low risk okay. or moderately low risk like ultra short term funds okay and then people can invest in that hmm. in one day's notice they can withdraw the money withdraw the money and okay. it is very safe all right so based on your need mm. the duration for which you can invest mm. and your own risk profile see one of the things which i keep recommending to people mm. is that if you are an aggressive p- person the chances of you making more money is higher if your risk profile is aggressive uh. you can make money uh, but losing so is also higher l- losing is also higher uh. the other thing is that a person whose risk profile is say conservative or modern uh, moderate uh. just because you know the chart show that a aggressive person can make more money mm. if he goes and invest in a aggressive portfolio mm. and he is all the time worried that i may lose my money and he can't sleep at night correct there is no, no point, point in trying to no do, doing that's that that's right so so uh, you are also one among the guys who worked with the first probably mobile wallet called nokia that's nokia right. wallet uh, so how did this idea start or how did you really start working on it so uh this is way back in i think 2010 11 when nokia uh, came up with this idea of getting into mobile wallets okay and you know the most prevalent mode of um, uh, transacting in uh, car- was the cards that's true so cards have a physical format mm. there is a uh, you know cost to the card that's right and there is a distribution issue mm. and then you need pos machines to be to spread all over the place yeah, there's yeah, a cost to the pos machines in those days it's to be around 15 16000 now the cost have come down US, yeah. yeah so that's where we looked at the opportunity okay uh, almost every individual has a mobile phone that's true. in those days you know probably the smartphones uh, were not as many as you have today mm. so we looked at the um, you know the low end phones mm. uh, and the smartphones okay and we looked at that sms technology was all prevalent all right so that was a base right. you knew that if you could do a transaction on an sms hmm. that anybody could do it hmm. so that's the uh, we said that a mobile phone is carried by every person so why not use so why mobile? not use or why not store money in his hand as we call it and this was way back in 2006 uh, this was 2010 2010 10. and uh, 
today the paytms and what not of uh, you know the financial wallet kind of a product these all started uh, lately in after 2013 uh, after 12 or 13 they started all right. then nokia didn't take it forward no so since nokia had decided to uh, get out of india's uh, mobile business right so they had sold off the services business so nokia money But was one of the first uh, what one. i heard is during that time you had almost like 10 lakh uh, uh, or 10 million users uh, we did have 1 million users one at million that time users. yeah that is 10 lakh okay. yeah 10 lakh users we 10 had. lakh users yes yes, yes. all right so uh, from mobile wallet to barosa club how was this transition So you know, uh, I am at the age of 55, mm. and um, probably most people would start planning their retirement. I think, but I was always enthusiastic to come up with products, something which new. Uh, something new is one, and secondly, which can affect a lot of masses. Okay. And uh, as I said, my co-founder also had the same, same vision. vision, and earlier to this, on at least two occasions, right. I had come up with. two ideas mm. and i went and presented it to other people and i said why don't you do this mm. and obviously you know other people don't share your own ideas or the enthusiasm and those ideas never saw the day of light so that's when you know i thought ki this time when the idea has come mm. i'm not going to go to anybody else you will do it i yourself. will do it myself right. and fortunately sanjay my co-founder he had the same uh, vision and then three of us sanjay anita and myself right. we got together and created this uh, company Club, right. and as we have stated in our uh, vision that we will be a, a successful company if every person who thinks of investing hmm. he has an opportunity to invest whether it is 100 rupees or whether right. it's a crore of rupees right. we would like to make this available to everybody everybody today as you rightly said probably hardly 6% of them do have a penetration into financial investments and things like that so how do you propose to take it forward today your platform might be open to everybody right from 100 rupees to 1000 rupees but how do you propose how how would you penetrate into the rural or the tier 3 areas okay so you know uh, what we are looking at is a, a top down approach right because when we started this company we first thought let's go to the masses first hmm. and go bottom up so that we start with people who want to invest only 100 rupees to 500 rupees hmm. but we didn't succeed in the initial few months to make this break right. and there was a reason for it because if you know that only recently people <laughs> through jandhan and all have opened these accounts true so they are getting used to banking at this moment so coming up with a new product at this stage for them is a big learning that's right so we said okay let them be comfortable with banking first hmm. and we then switched over and we okay. said let's take a top down approach now in our top down approach what we are saying is go for the middle class hmm. because they have a lot of capacity to invest, invest. but there is nobody serving them right so bring this to the middle class first or mm. the high net worth clients anyway there are a lot of people serving the high net worth clients yeah but cover the entire middle class mm. and then as you start spreading this okay. automatically start coming down in the uh, value chain that's so that right. more and more people can use it that's right so we are used a multi prong uh, strategy in this mm. one obviously we are trying to use the technology social media is there a uh, digital marketing is there but this does not this has a limited usage because not everybody is on these platforms True. but that is one platform so we leverage that secondly we are looking at doing a lot of corporate tie ups that's right see most corporates today have group health insurance correct they have uh, you know medical plans mm. you know a lot of them have gyms taking care of the physical health of people correct but very few people are doing anything for the financial wellness mm. so that is where we are saying that we are a neutral platform right and we are non commission driven so we are a neutral platform and we will make these services of knowledge right. research and transaction capability available to the employees right right and the employees are free hmm. to choose whether they whether want they to they invest want or, not. or not because yeah. you know like 
if you have a gym right but you can't force every employee that in the morning he has to run has on to the run treadmill right. so right. same way we are offering this okay. then of course is the distribution network right. which is there uh, prevalent so we'll create a distribution network hmm. either of our own okay. or leverage any uh, distribution, distribution network. network another thing is you know the we looked at the kirana shop hmm. and that this is where we got this idea okay so if you look at this kirana shop where there are lots of products we keep soap oil right. powder right so these are all simple products now what happens when you go to a kirana shop you know there you go and tell him i want a soap you will never say which soap which soap want. you want he at best will ask you a question do you want it for uh, you know uh, bathing or, bathing uh, or uh, wash your clothes, wash your clothes. Right. basis that he will offer you that's right he does not know the properties of that soap okay so he gives you a soap because you ask for a soap so we were thinking that look what people have done that they have created a network hmm. they simplified the product to such an extent right that the person who is delivering the product really knows nothing except the high level pro uh, properties saying that this is for this this is for this, is for this and this, and is, this is the cost yeah, and yeah. that's about it and he gives you general advice right not very specific stuff now you need a very complicated product you know like you need a soap for you know factories to remove this kind of a stain and that kind of a stain he will just guide you saying i don't do this if there's a shop in the neighborhood he'll guide you there right or he'll just say i don't know right so we want to do something similar that okay. with so many products which are there simplify things right get a basket of simplified products right only distribute those okay let the masses use the simplified products first right and then you know like we also become smarter that now i need this shampoo for this type of hair and that shampoo for that type of hair they will come up and say i need this financial product with these complications for solving this product yes, uh, problem and then we'll keep expanding the market yes sir so we need to discuss more about barosa club and how why that name barosa but before that we'll take a small break ವೀಕ್ಷಕರೇ ಒಂದು ಚಿಕ್ಕ ವಿರಾಮ ವಿರಾಮದ ನಂತರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ್ ಪೈ ಅವರೊಂದಿಗೆ ಇನ್ನಷ್ಟು ಸಂವಾದ ಮಾಡೋಣ ವಿರಾಮದ ನಂತರ ವಿ ಐ ಪಿ ಲಾಂಚ್ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ನಮ್ಮೊಂದಿಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ್ ಪೈ ಅವರು ಐವತ್ತೈದು ವರ್ಷದ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ್ ಪೈ ಅವರು ಇವತ್ತು ಹಲವಾರು ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಅವ್ರದೇ ಆದಂಥ ಒಂದು ಅಡ್ವೈಸರಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಬರೋಸಾ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಬಿ ಸೆಬಿ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆದಂಥ ಬರೋಸಾ ಕ್ಲಬ್ಬನ್ನು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಹತ್ರ ಕೇಳಬೇಕು ಈ ಹೆಸರು ಬರೋಸಾ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಯಾಕೆ ಬಂತು ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಐ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಯು ವೈ ಡಿಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಬರೋಸಾ ಕಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಯೋ ಎನಿ ಫೈನಾನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ Hmm. you look at a bank hmm. you will keep it only if you trust it right so trust is the most underlining factor yeah. of any investment that you do okay if you don't have trust you will not invest there yeah. so trust is the most important thing okay. and we thought that we will leverage that whatever we do on trust it has to be on trust right trust and transparency are absolute underlining factors for us and how did that club come into it okay so the club was a very interesting thing so you know if you go to a club you have a lot of offerings you know you have the squash court yeah. billiards swimming right. pool the bar the restaurant so many other things right you become a member hmm. all this is offered to you right but you then choose hmm. what you want to avail of that's right certain things come as part of the membership okay. certain things you pay for that's so right. you have this particular thing the other thing is you know everybody looks at financial products and finance in a very serious, serious way okay. so we thought that look let's do two things one make multiple offerings but also make it a little cooler so that everybody should not be very tensed up when he thinks about finance okay and take his decision in a very relaxed and manner so most of your advisors are also in a cooler manner than uh, 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 most of our absolutely rest in peace <laughs> they all rest in peace because of two things the way we have structured it okay is that we have left very little room 
hmm. for anything other than being very transparent okay so as i said that you know just to give you one example that people want advice right today when people recommend anything to you they do not tell you how did they come up with this recommendation, recommendation. okay the way we have done it is that on our website itself yeah. whatever recommendations we have put up right we have put it up there in black and white right secondly we have also put down in detail the algorithm used to come up with that recommendation okay so that anybody hmm. wants to test it out whether this algorithm gives me this result he will yeah. find out okay so th that leaves you no scope hmm. for doing anything different than what is actually stated out there all right and the second idea about that was you know this in technology we got this great name called as open source right so that people look at it people use it people enhance it so this algorithm also we have put it on the website okay now if people want to go and look at the algorithm and, give and they want to contribute to it okay. we will be more than happy to use it hmm. because if somebody who contributes a member hmm. contributes to the algorithm okay and our people can earn more wealth right we will be more than happy to do it that's true because that is what we are meant for but who does the research for you what is your team which does the research for you related to all these scripts so we have a research team uh, okay. with us uh, sanjay heads it all right and he has a, a great deal of experience in it huh. we are subscribed to databases etc which give us all the basic data okay and our entire process is data driven all right so that simplifies uh, most of the task okay. and today you know data is something which is all available right it's only a question that you know you use you have it to properly you to compile and you have to compile and use it Right. absolutely so from barosa club now what is that you are expecting uh, basically today you are in mangalore and you are looking at this particular south as a region how do you think the financial inclusions might develop in tier 3 cities like this okay so uh, if you look at uh, uh, history hmm. i think three banks were formed from here True. there is a vast community of people who are all finance people they have finance in the blood investment in their blood right okay so there is no question about uh, people not knowing about investment and money handling in this part of the world right so obviously this is a very important uh, place right so uh, definitely i would like to leverage it and as i said and you talked about tier 2 and tier 3 cities right see if we try to do physical distribution of any financial product the mm. cost is too high too high and you know the time taken to distribute it is too high right so let's say for example you know for taking a name if i was to distribute a mutual fund in some place like puttur or something like that in karnataka right getting a person across to that place with form setting it up etc right. etc would have taken a long time secondly maybe in that place to begin with maybe only 5 or 6 people might be there right. to invest right. and once they are comfortable the word will spread and other people will come it in it doesn't become feasible it doesn't become it. feasible but if i have got everything on the web hmm. or on a mobile phone hmm. then reaching any remote location does not take time true the only question is how do i get onto that person's phone right. which today a lot of people are comfortable they know okay. how to download apps yeah. from anywhere in the universe Right. So the real task now is how do I get into the phone or the computer or the web of a person and I of can distribute person. my product. Right. So I'm very happy to say that you know we have customers right in Jharkhand, we have in Bangalore, Pune, hmm. uh, next door in Brahmavar, Udupi, Mangalore, right. and a company is based out of Gurgaon. Okay. But okay. you know we have customers from all these places. Okay. and we are able to service them because you have so much of technology available whether it's the call centers you have the video chatting mm. and you know the famous whatsapp is always available if they want to communicate directly with somebody okay so we are leveraging all these channels so keeping uh, probably barosa club and this product aside now if we need to discuss about what's happening towards the economy of our country right uh, after demonetization how do you look forward india to grow look two things uh, that have happened of late demonetization led to a lot of money coming into the bank accounts okay. that's one thing and secondly the word digital money hmm. it suddenly got a big flip right so i think 
digital economy is what will really uh, pick up. Uh, it will take time. Mm -hmm. I am not saying that it will happen overnight. Okay. But at least the talk on digital money, digitization of currency mm -hmm. is now started. Okay. Uh, I'll uh, take my own example of several years ago when somebody said that the ATM is going to replace the teller. Mm -hmm. I was shocked. Mm -hmm. I said, how can that happen? Mm -hmm. The teller needs to see my face. He recognizes me every day. And then, you know, he needs to see my signature and so many other things. Mm -hmm. So, it can't happen. So, that was the mindset, mindset issue at that time. Yeah. But today, everybody knows that, you know, if the ATMs are not there, you're, uh, you can't get it's money. It's a chaos. It's right? a chaos. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. same way today, people might be looking at uh, digital money. No, no, we need to hand over cash. Mm -hmm. Without cash, things can't happen. And uh, this is uh, bound to change. The other important thing which I think a lot of people are not giving value to. Hmm. See, we got so many people we say are illiterate. Okay. They can't read and write. Right. Okay. And a big challenge is they cannot sign and hence they cannot issue a check. Then you say that they have to use a thumb impression. But a very important thing which people miss is they are all our people are numerically literate. You can bring in a lot of security by using numbers okay. and creating pins, etc. So, the people who today you think are illiterate mm. and hence cannot do check transactions or these kind of transactions, mm. suddenly, you know, with digital currency in their hand, mm. simplified applications right. and using, you know, security provided by numbers, right. uh, they can do all these transactions. Right. And I will go back to my Nokia money days, wherein people were using the mobile wallet mm. to recharge their phones right. and they were doing it very comfortably. We were d having people from all over the country, yeah. remotest of remote places uh, who are using the mobile, mobile phone phones. to recharge. They did not have to walk to the neighboring shop or okay. anything like that which is there. So, I think over a period of time, people will uh, start using digital currency. It is only a mindset issue That's and the comfort issue. So, uh, talking about demonetization then and the economy of our country, I surely need to ask you, how can a common man start creating wealth for himself? Or what is your suggestion for a common man to really start creating wealth for himself? So, I think uh, most of us uh, have this desire to create wealth and do not know how to create wealth. Right. Okay. So, to create wealth means you have to participate in the equity of the growth. Right. Okay. India is a growing country. Right. You know, all of us today have more incomes. So, we go and buy more soap, more cars, more televisions, more air conditioners, mm. more real estate, etc. So, which means that companies create more profits. Now, I need to participate in that profit making or that growth of, of that, that company. company too. The way I can participate is participating in the equity of that company. Right. So, I think to create wealth, it is important that certain portion of your savings okay. or investment must be in equity. All right. Now, everybody cannot do direct investments in equity because that requires a lot of research, follow up and active participation. So, you can use the mutual fund route right. and equity mutual funds to right. participate and create wealth for yourself. If you are not going to take any risk, hmm. creating wealth is very difficult. But at the same time, we are not suggesting that you become too aggressive, put everything in one basket and uh, only create wealth through equity because equity the risk, chances yeah. are you could lose. So, based on your risk profile and hmm. what you can sustain, you take enough risk participate in equity and create wealth right and start early okay i think lethargy is the biggest problem why people don't create wealth okay and taking an investment decision you are the most lethargic and we are seeing this a lot see an individual who is at age of 25 hmm. and if he invest 5000 rupees a month right and let us say the return on mutual funds in equity is around 15 percent say. Okay. In a 60, by the time he retires at the age of 60, if he started investing at the age of 25, he can create close to 6 crore rupees. Well, right. Now, if he is lethargic 
and mm. instead of at the age of 25 he delays the decision and creates starts creating wealth at the age of 27 right instead of getting around 6 crores he ends up with 4 point something hmm. and if he continues his delay and slumber and uh, starts at the age of 35 hmm. that 5000 rupees a month can only create about 1.35 or so for him of, yeah. and i think uh, you know, it is more important that we use the power of compounding which has been taught to us in 8th standard that I always tell people that one formula in mathematics which has been taught to you, the power of compounding, Right. just remember that and implement that. We have learnt it in 8th standard, hmm. but we never use it in our day to day life. Okay. So, I think to create wealth, it is absolutely necessary that you invest, start so at the right age <coughs> and you know, create uh, the wealth. There are, uh, I mean, when you consider common man who might not be educated, you know, what is your suggestion? How can he really, you know, get into such platforms or uh, might not be greatly financial educated? Sure. How do you really suggest him to go ahead with wealth creation? Okay. So, you know, today, fortunately, there are mutual funds, some of the mutual funds which enable you to invest <coughs> as small amounts as even 100 rupees. Okay. A lot of people are not aware of it. 100 to 500 rupees there are lots of uh, there are two three mutual funds which we are aware of and which we promote also for the common person if he wants to use it where you can start with these small sums and start building up building you, so so it's not necessary everybody can invest 5000 rupees a month okay fair enough mm. start with 500 right okay so use what is available okay that's one thing second thing is the knowledge okay you drive a motor car right okay now, there is no necessity for you to study how a car is built and you know understand about pistons and other things like that. Right. You need to know what is the mileage it gives, what is the safety factors, Correct. does it have a you know <coughs> uh, any other facilities automatic or not automatic, are there airbags. Oh. You need to know these things and basis so that you take a decision. Basic knowledge is, basic knowledge is, is what you yeah. require. Same thing you do with financial products. Right. Understand what are the basic properties. The designing part. Designing leave part. It leave it to the other people. other people. You understand is this a risky product? Okay. Is it low risk right. or is it high risk? Right. Now, why does somebody call this high risk or low risk? Leave it to the rating agency. Right. Believe what he rates it. Right. So, if a rating agency says that this product is low risk, we go by that. Right. I don't have to understand how he came up with the low risk. Okay. That is one part. Second thing is, where does he invest? Right. Have a general reading about it. Right. You don't need to know every single thing about it. Trust the fund manager to a great extent. Look at his past track record. Right. Like you are saying, how much mileage does it give? Hmm. Somebody publishes it at 12 kilometers per, per litre. What do you do? Hmm. Go and ask 2-3 of the existing Whether users. It gives 12. Does <laughs> it give 12? Yeah. Obviously, you will say it gives 10.5. Right. Because the that 12 is under ideal conditions. Right. Same way here, people say, oh, this is giving a past return of 12 percent. Right. You assume it will give you 10 percent. Right. If it gives you 15, be happy about be it. Be happy about it. Don't right. overestimate what you can get. Right. So, with these things, you can understand the product. Okay. Right. Right. Secondly, don't create too many complications for these people who want to do small sums. Hmm. So, you make the choice for them right. and tell them why this choice was made. I am not saying hide the choice from them. There is right. a difference between the two. I am saying make the choice simple for them. Explain to these people what that is in a language which they can they understand. understand. Right. <coughs> so, they know what they are doing. Right. Now, comes the execution part of it. Right. So, you go to the ATM. Now, when we started using the ATM initially, we had only one method of withdrawing money, right. wherein I had to key in the amount that I wanted and, and then the I had to money out. would come out. You did a little bit of innovation, right. you said fast withdrawal. So, you have option 500, 1000, 2000, 5000. Right. So, anybody who wants fast money, he just goes and he picks up a fixed number and withdraws the money. That's right. No complication. That's right. Same way for investment. You know, the way we are implementing, others are also trying to do something similar, is create a very simple application. Right. We call it Saral. And you only give two options in that. Okay. Use colors. Right. Okay. On Red right color side. means danger, which means high risk. Green is? Green is safe. Safe. Which means uh, low risk. 
right use these colors explain these colors and tell what is going to happen if you take a high risk product and a low risk product so the people is made aware right. and then instead of making him choose too many things you say okay invest 500 1000 2000 5000 any amount right so the person who is not too literate he can he knows how to do this do that. select that and uh, this thing That's one important thing is that all the thing can be done provided you are doing it in a very transparent manner right your fees are known right and your fees do not get influenced by the product he is choosing choosing so as long as you agnostic to that right you can always offer a, uh, such uh, product transparent product absolutely yes sir we need to discuss more but before that let us take a small break veekshakare ond chikka virama danantara vip launch karyakrama munduvariyutte ಎಸ್ ವೀಕ್ಷಕರೇ ವಿರಾಮದ ನಂತರ ವಿ ಐ ಪಿ ಲಾಂಚ್ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಸರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ವಿ ವೇರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಫೈನಾನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಅ ನೋಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂತ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಆಂಟ್ರಪ್ರನ್ಯೂರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಬೀನ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಆಂಟ್ರಪ್ರನ್ಯೂರ್ ನೌ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಬಬ್ಲಿ ಅಟ್ ದ ಏಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಯು ಡಿಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಆನ್ ಆಂಟ್ರಪ್ರನ್ಯೂರ್ so how is this experience and what is your suggestion to these youth who wants to be, want to become entrepreneurs so the experience of being an entrepreneur is great because we are very passionate about what we are doing right and hence you know for us uh, it's mo- you know it's really uh, energizing to every day you know think about this problem of financial wellness of people and uh, create a environment where people can do it the whole environment has changed now right you know when i uh, finished my uh, post graduation i think the general uh, environment at home was pick the first job you get yeah. and preferably in the most reliable places and you can get secure place possible. secure place and the day you got it the parents were very happy that this guy has got a uh, job. job and now this is a good company he can probably even retire from this so they yeah. took the 35 year view saying that he has got in a place where he can stay for 35 years that's right but uh, that's how it was you know mm. if you got in a public sector bank there was joy right if you got in one of the tata companies there was greater joy right so this is the environment at that time secondly you know the way people and i have experienced this that people who t- attempted to do any business mm. and god forbid he f- failed in that particular business right you know people did not take too kindly to it right okay right uh, probably at the, uh, some point in time i myself have been biased towards that hmm. in the sense that if somebody was running a business in it or something like that it failed right. came for an interview or something at the back of our mind you know we used to always be a little suspicious saying you know this guy failed in his business hmm. that means you know he couldn't deliver he's not capable he's probably not capable hmm. now should i really offer him a job or not so we were mixing up hmm. his technical capabilities with his business capabilities business and that probably was our mistake also of thinking hmm. but now the whole thing is changed people right. at home parents etc they are not shocked if the Some child says, comes, i want to become, I want an, to become entrepreneur. an entrepreneur i want to join a startup right. and uh, they are more than you know ready to accept it maybe they are a little worried about it saying that you know is he taking the right decision or not but most parents will today encourage it hmm. they'll be proudly telling hmm. other people saying my son has joined a startup because that's the sort of right. in thing you in know thing now. but I, my advice to uh, most people is that you do a startup if you are convinced about your own idea okay the first mm. thing is important is that you should be convinced, convinced about, about your idea. idea right and secondly if you think about doing it then just go for it right put in your know, entire effort for it don't make a half hearted attempt saying that i am thinking whether to take a job or to do this right. and then start it mm. if you take the decision just take it and go for it till the day you decide that no i can't do it till the last day when you right. take that decision just go for it and you should succeed okay. and you know create a good team 
right. i think uh, most entrepreneurs should realize that it's not a one man show that's true you need to build a team of good professionals right. who would work with you in a team and then you will be able to uh, deliver, deliver the dream that you have right. and take in people not because they are related to you you know that was the good old days we used to set up the businesses right. that he is related to me so we all come together and set up a business today he comes to set up the business because he can professionally contribute to that particular business right and that's uh, something that uh, i would encourage that right. anybody who's passionate about his thought idea test it out and go for it ಎಸ್ ವೀಕ್ಷಕರೆ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ನೋಡಿದ್ರಿ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ್ ಪೈ ಅವರು ಅವರ ಜೀವನವನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದೆ ಇಟ್ಟರು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅವರು ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿಯಿಂದ ಪಾಸ್ಔಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿ ಐವತ್ತೈದು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯೆನ್ಸನ್ನು ಹಿಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಒಂದು ಭರೋಸಾ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಎಂಬ ಒಂದು ಅಡ್ವೈಸರಿ ಫರ್ಮನ್ನು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ಸಂಚಿಕೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ಗಳೊಂದಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಮಾತಾಡಬೇಕು ವಿ ಐ ಪಿ ಲಾಂಚ್ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ